Sheldon, Tim, uh, you guys we do a lot of managing around here, and I decided to change our policies here at InfoWars. From now on, we are not going to allow any of the crew to bring their own lunches. Everyone uh, will now buy their lunch uh, in the break room cafeteria, and uh, we will decide, I will decide what people eat now. Uh, for a long time, I... Uh, you know, thought that liberty and freedom was good, but now I realize that liberty and freedom is the freedom to not think. And I noticed the Chicago School District has announced at many of their schools that parents are not allowed to pack the school lunches for their children. I noticed Mayor Bloomberg in New York wants to ban French fries and salt and things. They're talking about huge fines uh, if people don't. And I think that's great. I hope Texas passes a law where I can have staff around here arrested. Uh, if I see any French fries, or if you can bring your own food. In fact, we are owned by the state. That's what Land of the Free, Home of the Brave is all about. And I, I, I'm going to pick a food program to follow the government's idea. Only corn syrup, aspartame, MSG, and fluoride water. Okay? Uh, well, you got any comments on that? So no food from home, huh? We're just straight from here. Buy it, buy it from the work lounge, huh? Are you going to provide us with uh, details if the food's safe for us? Listen! Questioning is not what you do in America. Are you an extremist? Watch it, buddy. Watch it. Talk like that's what lets Al-Qaeda hit us and hit us hard, okay? By the way, we're going to overcharge about three times what, this, what the food's worth. Do you understand? Let me get the price list up. We're hitting with the new America. I was wrong all these years. I want you to go ahead and order a biometric scanner like they got at most of these lunch counters in public schools. People are going to biometrically scan to make sure you're buying your lunch here. Because that's also <clears> part of the job. And because terrorists could strike at any time, especially this facility, I want to buy one of those body scanners and I want to start having a security guard stick their hand down everybody's pants that comes to work here. That's going to make us safer. Are you thinking bad things about that? No, no. I'm just, I'm just wondering. You know, It might just take more time away from getting work done here. You know, if we got to go through scanners every morning or something like that. Well, then I want you to be safe. You can't be trusted bringing your own food to work. Man, I can't believe I'm just trying to be a patriot and trying to make sure you're safe and you're acting like that. What about you, Tim? Are, I mean, are you with Weldon? Are you an extremist? No, I'll go along with it. I think it, I think I can understand where you're coming from, I guess. I think it's kind of extremist. I mean, you know, kind of delusional in a way. I mean, we got to protect everybody. I mean, they come to work, they expect to work and be protected while they're at work. Just thought it might, uh, but yeah. Wait a minute, you just looked me in the eyes. The TSA manual says if you look a federal commander in the eyes, that's a sign of aggression. Well, to just admit that you have got a sickness. You're a sickness that you would want to be able to bring your own lunch or be able to pack it for your own children for school. What type, what is wrong with you, man? Does a prisoner get to choose what they eat? No. See there, Weldon? Well, then you've got to learn two plus two doesn't necessarily equal four. It equals whatever I say. Now, are you supporting the new freedom? I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I understand. Just, uh, we'll get the word around and uh, just need to feel safe, you know. I'm really glad that you came to your senses. Uh, now, whose crackers are these? Well, they were mine. Uh, you got five minutes to get them out of the building. I don't ever want to see this again. Get them out of here. And hey, don't think I'm trying to intimidate you right now and get in your face. When they groped that little six-year-old girl, I mean, kept her safe at that airport, the parents reportedly, the TSA bowed up and got in their face. That's freedom. I'm just following what the federal government does. If bowing up on parents because they didn't like their kid being groped is what our government does, is what I do. You got a problem? It's going to be a problem. No problem. That's freedom. Freedom! Oh, God, I got power now. Good, that's freedom. That's, that's freedom! freedom. freedom. <clears throat> Good news, y'all. Check this out. Uh, from now on, you don't have to bring any food to work anymore. You don't have to think about what you can eat for lunch. Uh, we're going to have an employee meal plan, so you're only allowed to buy lunch from the company break room. It's uh, straight from the, from the top, so uh, outside food and drink. 
from now on prohibited. So, uh, even more exciting news is uh, we've got bottled water available with sodium fluoride for your safety. So, don't have to think anymore about what to bring. So, from now on, no more outside food or water. We got it all here. So, but I'm on a budget. Uh, it's all right. Don't worry about it. You're still gonna have to pay for it. But it's you know, we can take it out of your paycheck. Um, what's that? My mom makes my lunch. Well, uh, that's old fashioned, and that's not what the state proves of anymore. So uh, we're going to do what the state tells us to do. Uh, so got these for you. And well, can, I, can I just finish this? No. Mm -mm. Well, I mean, you got like five minutes, basically. So I, I don't know. Either, you know, I, I, whatever you got to do, you got five minutes, and then it's in effect. So here. Thanks for looking out for me. Here, take two. And I'll leave one more in here. You guys can post it. So, uh, welcome to the New World Order. This sucks, guys. I'm a vegetarian. It's okay. They want us to eat safer food. Well, well, well. If it isn't Aaron Dykes. How you doing, buddy? Howdy. What are you doing right now? Mm, just eating lunch while I'm going over some stories. Excuse me. What, what are you going doing? in the trap? Listen, buddy, that's what they do at the Chicago public school system. This is like some kind of boss hog town where I gotta buy my food from the state store. Whoa! You are an extremist. You know, they have new mental illness designations. When you challenge authority in any way, it's a sign that you're dangerous. Maybe I should send the FBI or Homeland Security over here. I don't think so. You're going to buy your food from this office because I know it's safe and I care about you and I have the moral high ground. Don't argue with me. And by the way, this system's going in nationwide. Don't think you'll just quit this job and get away from this. Don't think it'll just stop at public schools in Chicago or New York. You understand? Those are organic. Organic? What's this about Boss Hog? What are you talking about? Oh, like I, this is a sharecropper operation? You got to buy your stuff from the company store? I'll be honest with you, that's exactly what this is, and they're all submitting to it. And I like it. So you think you're a thinker? Get up and get your ass out of this office. You're fired, and I'm calling Homeland Security on you. Get out of here. You're a dying breed. We're running you out of this country, and we're taking over the whole planet. You understand me? The future belongs to the slave masters. You're fired. Oh, God, it's going to be so much fun when they arrest him. Hey, hey, production crew. Hey. Uh, you guys are gonna buy me lunch out of the back today? I brought my lunch. Yeah, me too. You saw the memo and that went out at 9 a.m. Memo, memo. Oh, I didn't have time to, to get anything else, though. Is what we, we brought No, home. dude, I've got, you saw all the food we've got there for you to buy. That's totally reasonable. Look, are you saying the Chicago school system's wrong, not letting parents pack their lunches? Uh, are you saying Mayor Bloomberg's wrong, Phil? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem well, right. Well, here's either. the deal. Here's the deal. Okay? Oh, it's on me today. I'll buy your first lunch. I'm doing you a favor, but that stuff's going in the trash, okay, buddy? Wait, what are you doing? I'm going to throw it in the trash, man. What? Listen, you saw the policy. But I... Look. That's an entire salad. I can't 100% know this is healthy and good for you, okay? Mayor Bloomberg's a very respected man. He also wants everybody to turn their firearms in. There you go, pal. Have you heard about how they've got giant fines for salt? In fact, I bet that there's salt on this chicken. They're trying to pass laws like this in Austin. That could shut us down. We're getting with the times. We're trendy. Do you understand that? You know it's totally reasonable, Phil. It's for your own good, man. Yeah, Just thank you. Thank you, Jaron. Not mine. Here we go. Now, like I said, I'm going to be nice today. Everybody else has got to buy theirs. I'm going to buy lunch for you, okay? Get up. Let's go. I've got you lunch. You know you'll appreciate it.
God, what won't that Chicago mafia think of next? This is going to be real. Oh, hi, guys. I care about your health. Come on, come on in, Matt and Tim. You guys liking the new policy? Um, it's only $20 for this salad. Uh, or I've got some fluoridated baby water here, only $3 a bottle. You can have ramen noodle, uh, bananas, Lunchables. Uh, we've got some Spam. And uh, we've also got some uh, Vienna sausages. So what would you like here? Well, I brought my own banana. Is that okay? No, sir. We can't trust you to bring your own food, okay? Is there anything other than the fluoridated, fluoridated water? Sir, fluoride frankens your teeth. Don't be like the extremist kids that protested and they were called revolutionary extremists in Chicago and are probably now on FBI list, okay, buddy? Okay. This is reasonable. Not being able to decide what you're going to eat is freedom, okay? The government cares about you. Michelle Obama cares. Look. Look here. Okay, carrots. Now listen. Pay up, pal. I love liberty. Man, I forgot I left my wallet in the car. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we're putting in a biometric scanner next week. Just mark it down in there on the board. And pretty soon we're just going to deduct it from your check anyway so you don't have a choice. I'll grab a salad. Okay. Hey, good. Good. See, you had a choice here. Okay. Uh, come on. Found one of the employees with just a kind of water. Good job. You caught him with a Perrier. Let me get that in the trash. Well, then you've really turned it around since this morning. So your lunch is free. Thanks. That's how a fascist, communist, uh, criminal, I mean, freedom system works. And take whatever else you like. Good job. And I want you to keep your eyes on Phil. Okay? We can do. All right. Thank you very much. Good job. All right, man, I'm really feeling powerful right now, getting to tell them what they eat, and uh, I'm really enjoying this. Man, this is great. Uh, uh, no, no. No, please. Oh, God. Oh, this is horrible. What's happened to America? Hey, Alex. Hey, Alex. Our parents are slaves. Hey, Alex. Hey, Alex, wake up. We got a show in five minutes. Huh? Oh, God. Oh, Jaron, I've never been so glad to see you. I... I woke up in a futuristic America where I was a police state control freak thug like Janet Napolitano. Well, it's all good now. Welcome to 2011 where we still have all our freedoms intact. Come on, we got a show to do. Man, that's great. Hey Alex, those cameras came in uh, from the studio backstage. Oh, awesome, man. Yeah, what's this? What's what? It's a salad. This morning you passed out a memo saying that we can't bring our own lunches in, but yet you're bringing stuff from Wendy's? You got a memo? There was a memo? Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.